Once a year, on the second weekend of June, the small provincial town of Lind, Washington explodes into a riot of action. People come from all over to see the annual Combine Demolition Derby. Now there's a beer garden with some fantastic local brews, as well as the Farm Truck Race Rally. But all of this pales in comparison to the ultimate bone-crushing action that one can see after the farm trucks are done racing. And that is the Combine's Demolition Derby. Now what happens is Combine's, no longer in action for the harvesting of wheat, are rolled out onto the field and then pitted against one another in an ultimate test of skill and machismo. The referees look like rag dolls down there next to these behemoths. Lind has been hosting the event for 24 years and it's become a major symbol not only of their town but of the American spirit. The farm truck rally is a great example of farm equipment that's been put to another use. The local brews are another way to celebrate Washington. But the coup de gras is, of course, the combines. The first derby took place in 1988 at Lynn Centennial Festival. It was such a smashing success that people talked about it for months, and since then it has become the crown jewel of the small town of Lynn. If you want to participate, all you really need is a combine, modified a little bit for safety regulations and with a whole lot of flair on it. Now the most important part is to watch the back tires, because that seems to be the weakest area on the whole thing. The engines are pretty much inexhaustible, but if you get those tires or a good solid hit to the headers, your combine is out, and then the remaining champions will duke it out till the end, however long that takes. For me, the Lind Combine Demolition Derby will remain as one of the most memorable experiences of my life. I would highly recommend it to anyone. Second weekend of June, every year. Bring your own combine if you want to. Washington State is a treasure box of geographical wonders, not the least of which is the Lake Lenore Cave System in central Washington. It was a popular spot 5,000 years ago and it continues to be a wonderful place for recreation today were used by Native Americans as sort of a, a gathering point. They would come here and prepare food and gather plants and then return to their permanent villages somewhere on the banks of the Columbia River. But they would use these caves as temporary housing. And genius idea it was. The plants that were once gathered here are still important today, not the least of which is sage, which is still gathered by local tribes. Oh my god. God, that smells good. Mm. There are plenty of caves to explore, but most of the really good ones are just a five minute hike away from the parking area. For the most part, the caves are in the same condition they were in 5,000 years ago. Though a little bit caved in in places, they're still in excellent condition. see the areas here where people have kind of excavated the sites and shown what they would actually have looked like more at the time. A bit more shelter, you know. I mean, it's not the Holiday Inn, but it feels like home. Aside from cave exploration and the history lesson, the Lake Lenore area is a great rock climbing area, or just a place to find inspiration. Whatever your reason, it's worth going out. Wenatchee. Nestled in the heartland of Washington State, this small agricultural town has a lot to offer. And while most people think of it only as outdoor shops, hunting kitsch, and wide open spaces, there's something more perched just on the hill outside of town. It's called Omi Gardens. This lush evergreen park was once a personal garden. Now it is a place of respite and tranquility for anyone who wants to go up the hill. Cloaked in shade and studded with reflecting pools, it is quite a stop. In 1929, Herman Omi began his gardens up here on the barren hills of Wenatchee where nothing was growing. And it just kind of took off from that point on. 
I think it took something like 40 years before the gardens reached their full max, and now they're one of the wonders of Washington. Hidden treasures, like this wishing well and water-producing stump, only add to the magic. So, tapped in the 1940s, this stump has been producing this refreshing water ever since. The Omi Gardens are open from late spring to early fall and are available for weddings.